Hey guys, it's Angel. Today I'm going to show you how to make dry fried green beans two ways. Now typically these are deep fried, which makes them super unhealthy, but today I'm going to show you a quick kitchen hack on how you can make these with the microwave and also in the oven. They are super quick and easy to make and they are a healthier version of dry fried green beans. So if you're interested, keep watching. For this recipe, we're going to need about one pound of green beans. I'm going to separate half of it into the first batch, which we're gonna bake in the oven, and then the other half, which we're gonna use the microwave to dry out and then stir fry with pork. So let's set that aside for now, and we'll go ahead and make the sauce. And we're gonna start with one tablespoon of soy sauce. We'll also need a quarter teaspoon of sugar. Half a teaspoon of salt, or you can do salt to taste. a drizzle of sesame oil. And then finally, one to two cloves of minced garlic. Goes directly in there. If you like yours a little bit spicy, add some sliced red chilies. All right, now let's start to cook the oven baked ones. Start by preheating my oven to 375 degrees. You can also do this in an air fryer if you have one. I wish you didn't do that when I was talking. Should I say you can, you should also, you can also do that in an air fryer if you have one? Sure. You can also do this in an air fryer if you have one. And I'm just going to line my sheet pan with aluminum foil helps with cleanup. Next, I'm going to put half my green beans on the sheet and drizzle a little bit of peanut oil. And finally, pour our sauce directly over the green beans. Give these a toss and make sure they're coated really well. All right, now we're gonna pop these into the oven for about eight to 10 minutes and around the halfway mark, we'll just go ahead and toss them. <laughs> what are we tossing? <laughs> All right, just gonna pop this into the oven and definitely if you have it, put it on your convection setting. Now let's get started on our other batch of green beans. So now I'm gonna take my remaining green beans, put them on a microwavable plate, and put a paper towel over this. And then we're gonna microwave them for one minute increments until they're soft, wrinkly, and a little bit dry. So I'm just going to microwave these beans for one minute on 70% power, and that's because my microwave is kind of hot. And we'll check back in a minute. So as you can see, there's moisture being drawn out now and they started to get a little soft. So let's continue doing this until they're soft and wrinkly. Now I think it's been a few minutes, so let's go check on our oven baked beans. Okay, they started to brown. This one looks really nice right here, and that's what we're looking for. Back in the oven for five more minutes. Now let's go check on our microwaved beans. Okay, so they did start to wrinkle up, as you can see, and I'm just gonna take the paper towel and pat away some of that moisture there. So I think 30 more seconds, and we'll be ready to stir fry. So these are the microwaved beans, and as you can see, they are pretty wrinkly, and the moisture has come out, so I'm just patting that away. And that's a healthier way to make your dry fried green beans. 
Okay, these look like they're done. We'll turn off the oven. It's nice. Okay, come take a look. These are really nice and charred a little bit. Now, these are vegetarian version of the green beans. If you do wanna add like a ground pork or ground beef, you totally can. Just go ahead and break the pork up when you cook it in the oven. That smells really good. Hmm. Don't forget to put the garlic bits and the oven roasted chilies on top. Makes for great presentation. And now let's start on our second batch. Preheat your wok or pan on a medium high heat. Now add some peanut oil. And in this batch, I am adding some pork. I've got about a quarter pound of ground pork. Once you break up the pork, add your green beans. The goal here is to sear the green beans so it's got like a nice char to it. Now that things have started to brown, we're going to add the exact same sauce that I had from before. I made another batch, so we'll just put that in. You can see the sauce has really started to thicken, thanks to the sugar. Now the beans are pretty much done. You can see that they're a little bit brown and charred on the outside. Now we can plate it and the pork on the top. And this is how you make the healthy microwave version of the recipe. And now for the taste test. Let's start with the oven baked green beans, which are vegetarian. Mmm. I love it. <laughs> so delicious. They were a bit sweet, a bit savory, and I could tell they were clean tasting and healthy. Now let's try the microwave version with some ground pork on top. I'll get a little piece here with some pork. So this one's definitely also clean tasting. And I really like how the pork adds another dimension of flavor to this. It's super delicious. Both are really, really good. I'm Angel. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And as my grandpa would say, sharing a meal with a fascinating stranger is one of life's true delights. So until we can share some dry fried green beans together, take care. I love you and I'll see you guys in the next one.